Well, welcome back, guys. I'm Justin, and this is a CNR Collector Channel. Now, if you're uh, clicking on this video, then you already know that uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing today. Um, I usually don't do unboxings because Lord knows the internet is full of them. And uh, oddly enough, catch myself watching more than I want to admit. But today is an unboxing of a firearm that uh, I've been pretty excited to check out. So uh, it's an M1 carbine and I ordered it from Royal Tiger Imports. Now if you haven't heard of Royal Tiger Imports then you're not alone. I hadn't either uh, but I did know of the company by their alternate name which is uh, Inner Ordnance. Uh, they're importing a whole bunch of stuff from Ethiopia under the name Royal Tiger Imports and um, this includes Lee Enfields, Mausers, all kinds of stuff but uh, I in particular was interested in the uh, M1 carvings. Uh, they had a whole bunch of different versions you could choose from. Uh, this particular one was their base model for $8.99. It did say that you were going to get an inland but um, they send you the serial number with the tracking number and I saw that I was getting a IBM Corp um, International Business Machines made uh, carbine. So I'm pretty excited to open this box and uh, I think I've talked enough. So let's go ahead and dig in and check out what we got today. All right guys, so uh, I already took it out of the the uh, exterior sleeve that this ships in. It doesn't ship just like this, but uh, it did. It's just a box that fits directly over this, so we pulled it out, and uh, this is what we got. So as you can see, International Ordnance Incorporated right here on the box. Got their phone number, got everything. In fact, it doesn't say anything about Royal Tiger on the whole dang thing. So that is it. So let's see what's inside. Alright, so there it is. And man, that thing looks good. Looks very good. As you can see, kind of sparse on the old packing job, huh? Uh, I could feel it rattling around when I pulled it out. Um, but it did not get damaged, it looks like. It did not get damaged in the mail. I'm going to go ahead and clear it out make sure we're all good. But, uh, man, doesn't that look good, guys? I think that really, it does look pretty darn good. So it looks like there's a little tag here with the serial number. And uh, let me make sure what we got. It does say IBM on the back. A little hard to tell because it's got that uh, older stamp style um, uh, rear sight on it. But on the front, let's see, we've got, can you guys read that? IBM Corp on the front overall feels a little grimy a little dirty but uh, looks pretty good there's a good amount of uh, grease in the uh, in the action there I think that was preventing it from cycling very well uh, it's, it's gonna need some cleaning but really the uh, parkerization looks pretty darn good so Parkerization looks good. Stock is in really good shape. If you guys can't tell on the on the camera there, uh, it does come with the oiler, and uh, looks like the uh, late model nylon style sling. From what I've seen, uh, oilers and slings kind of hit and miss on these. Uh, we do have bayonet lug. And uh, so we do have the updated sight too. And it do have the updated safety. So this had gone through 
uh, up post-war uh, upgrades or downgrades depending on who you're talking to I guess uh, let's see if we got anything else um, we do so right here let's see if we can get that in the picture if not I'll just take a picture of it but uh, it says RIA EB so that would be a Rock Island arsenal um, re arsenal and we got a couple uh, P's and circles right here right down here but uh, overall looks pretty good it's got the uh, early top handguard it's got the low cut wood lower uh, lower wood but really the stock is in fantastic shape and uh, I am very impressed um, I'll get the bore scope out and I'll throw a couple uh, maybe a little video of what the bore looks like but uh, overall very pleased with that very very pleased with that looks pretty pretty darn good so let's see what else is in the box so we got our uh, we got our paperwork looks like just a uh, a receipt and a copy of their FFL and then we've got this little guy right here so this should be a magazine let's see so it's got some type of grease on it also looks like the balloons in good shape overall uh, pretty dirty but uh, some type of grease on it and there is a UI mark on the back so but the bluing on this mag let me, let me wipe a little bit of this off bluing on the mag looks pretty good in good shape see if the uh, if it works there we go just up the mag mag release there we go too everything's really sticky very very sticky so there's there is a lot of grease in this thing but I'm gonna say grease is a good thing grease is a good thing so we've got all the grease off and uh we're going to go ahead and look at some of the parts here. So this is the oiler. Uh, this is a World War II production Blake manufactured oiler. Uh, nothing inside. A little bit of rust on the outside uh, due to the sling riding on it. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the stock. Now uh, you'll see a circle K on it. Uh, that's kind of known as a Keystone manufactured stock. Uh, there is some debate whether or not Keystone was making these, uh, but they did have a contract between October 44 and uh, May of 45 to make stock assemblies, quote-unquote. Uh, this is Rock Island Arsenal, um, re-arsenal marking. Uh, it did go through two re-arsenals. It has uh, P stamps, two P stamps on the pistol grip. Uh, the... Handguard is uh, the deep groove style with uh, two rivets, so it's early. It's also W marked on uh, one of the rails there, and that means it's Winchester manufactured. The uh, recoil plate has no markings on it. This stock, uh, some additional information on the stock, uh, it's an M2 stock, and uh, it's got that front cut out next to the front of the magwell and it also has uh, what they call the pot belly style on it um, which is fine just found, found just forward of the magwell also uh, now we got the trigger housing trigger housing is stamped pretty clear on the back it says uh, inland and um, 
this one is a type 3. There are a bunch of different types. Uh, I'll just be uh, kind of calling out what they are. You guys can do some research. I'll leave some links in the bottom. Uh, the trigger is a late manufactured Saginaw with the uh, SG. The sear uh, doesn't have any holes or, or uh, grinding marks in it, and it's made by Inland, so it makes it a Type 1. The hammer is a Type 3 made by Inland. Um, you can see the H right there. The mag release doesn't have a manufacturer on it, but uh, it is a Type 5 made for the M2. It's got the M with the line underneath it, has a little hook on the side. And the uh, rotary safety here, that is a Type 4, marked with the N with a circle around it. Now we're going to move to the slide. The slide has a marking inside of it, uh, D, A, slash, Q. That's for quality hardware. Uh, this is a Type 3, has the round cutout uh, at the back. Now you've got the bolt on the left lug, kind of hard to see in the video, but it is marked AI, and that's for inland. Uh, this is a Type 3. It also has a Type 2 firing pin and a Type 2 or 3 extractor. I really can't tell because you got to pull it out to figure that out. Here's the hammer spring guide. It is unmarked. Um, the receiver, pretty clearly marked on the back, IBM Corp, but it's really hard to film it because it's stuck underneath that uh, plate there. Uh, based off of serial numbers, I guesstimate this being made in March of 44. Uh, IBM made these from August 43 to May 44 in Poughkeepsie, New York. Um, the rear sight added later in the war as an upgrade. That one's a Type 3 made by Inland. Front sight looks like uh, Rock Island Arsenal RIA on the front. Uh, looks like it was replaced during one of its rebuilds. You can also see IBM Corp. Uh, this is a late production barrel. has no date, no flaming bomb on it. And it uh, looks like the muzzle is pretty good on this particular weapon. Uh, the barrel band, I didn't get a close-up shot of this, but uh, this is a Type 3 post-war when they started adding bayonets, lugs to it. It is marked KI on the side. Um, and that means it's an inland. So... Here it is, all cleaned up, ready to go. Tune in later for the range time video, and we'll see you guys next time.